Hey, what is going on guys? It's the IT guy here again. Today we're gonna look at 10 of the most used tools I used to use when I was working in retail IT. Now these tools should be good if you're a home user, you wanna fix your PC yourself, or maybe if you're a business owner and you wanna fix the PCs at your local business. Do note, if you're using it for business purposes, these free licenses do not cover commercial use, so you should be looking into the paid versions instead. But without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So to start off with the first one, I think most of you have already tried this. And if not, you know, it's a very good tool to be trying. So let me open up my Firefox right here. CCleaner, there we go. CCleaner, uh, what does CCleaner do? So basically on your PC, you have a lot of, uh, you know, junk files and unnecessary files. CCleaner will basically look all these files up, list it for you, and then you can choose to delete it. Uh, you know, in which case you should delete it because these junk files are mostly useless on your PC, so you should be deleting these. Uh, and this will save up some disk space and probably also speed up your PC. Uh, there's also a function to clean up the registry. Uh, the cleaning up the registry also will improve performance on the PC and also thus, you know, makes the PC a little bit more clean, you know, uh, the way it should be. And also there's a function where you can be uh, enabling and disabling startup items so such as programs that are starting up on your PC that might take up a little bit more time for your PC to start up you can disable those if you're not using them for example if you don't use iTunes every day you can disable iTunes and it will not start up uh, when the PC starts up but you can always start up iTunes on the PC manually so it just starts up whenever you need it to start up so that's pretty handy. Uh, going into number two, uh, we have Windirstat. So Windirstat, what this actually pretty pretty much does, oh, I will open it up on the PC myself here. So you can just choose a drive, like I'm going to choose my C drive, and what it will do is it will calculate the size of specific folders and files on the PC, and it will tell you how big these files are. So for example, this scan is almost done. If you're using an SSD uh, like I am, it goes pretty fast. So uh, looking into my program files folders, uh, pro program files folder, I can see that my origin games folder is pretty big and I have like three games installed, which take up a lot of uh, space on the PC. And uh, Windows that will show this to you. Now it's, you know, it's pretty handy if you are cleaning up the PC and you're wondering where all those gigabytes are going to, well, Windows that will scan the drive down for you and it will show you. Moving on to number three. Number three is, it's more uh, something I would call a collection of software items. And that is Nearsoft. Nearsoft, let's go to their website, nearsoft.net. Nearsoft.net, these guys, they're doing an amazing job. It's all freeware, it's all free. They're, 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 there's no uh, paid tools. They also, they also provide uh, tools like uh, password tools, system tools, browser tools. Um, so you can see right here, this is one of the tools I use the most. Uh, this one is MailPass View. MailPass View or maybe even web browser pass you it's very good if you're working with people who don't know their email password we encountered those a lot people who don't know their email password and they lost it and they don't want to change it because it's you know the password is uh, entered on so many devices already uh, so the easiest thing to do would be to grab an old PC where the emails would be uh, you know already connected to the mailbox would be already uh, connected to the to the PC and we would install mail pass view a mail pass view would read out the uh, Password in plain text so we can just write it down give it to the customer and the, uh, the Customer is happy, you know, and they don't have to change their password and you can use it to install on new devices So that's pretty handy uh, Web browser pass view is the same thing if you're you know if you lost the password to a certain website and you don't want to go over the whole uh, process of renewing the password you know web browser pass you uh, might be able to get it back although it does not always work especially with the newer kinds of uh, browsers they are more likely to store the password a lot more securely so 
it can be a bit more difficult but you know look up uh, look into this list you know there's a ton of, uh, of options here uh, also blue screen view it's very handy if your PC is blue screening to see which driver is uh, giving the error uh, very very handy uh, so also there is a donate button you know if you're feeling generous please donate to so these guys are doing an amazing job uh, next up is yeah command prompt of course command prompt and PowerShell of course now command prompt um, the problem with command prompt is it's you know it is it's, it's a beauty. You can do so much things in Command Prompt and in PowerShell, but the downside is it's pretty technical. So if you're not really a technical person, uh, don't go mess around with Command Prompt because it might be a little bit too difficult for you. Uh, but you know, for uh, technicians like me, for example, they would uh, you know they would benefit from uh, knowing some Command Prompt. For example, like. You can do like IP configs to know the IP address of the PC. You can ping certain websites to see if uh, the problem is either with the website or on your PC if you're having no internet connection. Stuff like that, like uh, check this for example, uh, the check this command, uh, the check this command, you know, does drive scanning. So if your PC is running a little bit uh, slower uh, as of late, see or the PC is not working the way you should, always make sure that the hard drive itself like the, the the partition itself is actually actually still healthy so going into number five um this one is uh, basically made for managing your disks uh managing some partitions even i think even cloning drives is included in the free version there's a professional version you know there's paid options which give you more options obvious obviously but we'll just look into the free version for home users. So this specific uh, software I am referring to is Mini Tool Partition Project. So if you go in, if you go to the website Partition Wizard, you know you're gonna end up on uh, the website which asks you to buy a license. But if you go to the Partition Wizard website itself, you'll be able to download the free version right over here and the free version uh, if you compare it to other versions you know there's a lot included you know create delete uh, resize remove merge set partition as the uh, primary uh, things that are not included is you know converting NTFS to FAT32 to, to FAT uh, recover lost partitions not included you know there's a lot of things that, not that are not included but most things are but most of the things that are not included uh, you will not be using as uh, a home user. Maybe you'll be using it uh, when you're using this uh, professionally. So, you know, Partition Wizard, still free, although if you're going uh, via the ad on Google, uh, it's going to bring you to this page, but if you just remove the last bit, you just go to partitionwizard.com, uh, you'll be able to download the free edition yourself. All right, now number six. Number six. This is one. You know, I've been using this for so long. It is. It's amazing. Uh, it's Hiren Boot CD. Hiren's Boot CD is pretty much all you will ever need to repair PCs. You know, it's got everything. It's got tools included to uh, repair boot sectors. It's got tools included to repair disks, it's got tools included to test network environment, stuff like that. It's an amazing uh, piece of software and it's free to download. It's got all these tools included, so you know, just burn it to a USB drive, plug it into PC, boot it up and just see whatever uh, is possible with Hiram's Boot CD. I might do a video in the future, you know, covering all the tools that Hiram's Boot CD offers. Uh, so you can you just have, have a look before you test it yourself before you even do the effort uh, but as a um, IT professional this is very much is this is just this is just magical this is you know a very good uh, boot CD just an all-in solution to fix PCs and to do some testing so really recommend this one we're up to number seven and this is actually just something you know everybody needs this one uh, it's Rufus 
I don't know if you ever heard of Rufus, but Rufus is actually a USB creation. Uh, well, this is it's in Dutch, I'm going to change it to English. So this is actually just to create bootable USB drives. If you're downloading ISO files like Windows 7 ISO files, there's not, a, you know, there's no possibility to burn it to a USB drive directly. You need a third-party software. If you're looking at the media creation tool for Windows 10, there is an option that allows to create a bootable USB drive from the um, software itself. But if you're burning um, bootable ISOs to a USB stick, you'll be needing something like Rufus to burn these ISOs to your USB stick. So, you know, it's just it's a staple uh, tool that most ITRs use. There's like a ton of other uh, different tools to burn ISOs to sticks, but I use Rufus because I like the simplicity in the UI. And number eight uh, is Recover. Recover, I think it's pronounced like that. Recover or re Recover, how, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, Recover is freeware as well. If you deleted the file, if you're working on a Word document and you deleted it by accident, Recover is 90% sure going to be able to recover the file you just deleted. For simple, you know, you deleted a file by accident, Recover is most likely going to be able to recover that file for you. So number nine goes out to Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes, it is one of the most used anti-malware softwares. Uh, besides antiviruses, antiviruses don't clean up everything, but Malwarebytes goes a little bit deeper. But, you know, just try it out for yourself. I am pretty sure if you're not an IT professional and, you know, you just click any link you see, if you, uh, if you click every link that says funny kittens on Facebook, uh, the chances are that there's, you know, at least some sort of malware on your PC. There's malware, malware on everybody's PC. I think even on my PC you can find some tracking cookies. You know, it's inevitable. Uh, so try out Malwarebytes, definitely give it a scan every now and then to make sure your PC stays as clean as possible. So you can just download it just over here. Go to free download. Uh, it will give you the consumer installation. Of course, if you're a business owner, you should be buying the product uh, Malwarebytes from the website, you know, Malwarebytes business uh, as, you know, commercial use is not covered by the free license of Malwarebytes. So number 10 on the list is ADW Cleaner. Uh, you can find that on the Malwarebytes website. Let's just quickly go to the Malwarebytes website. Uh, then you can go over to products. And you know, right down at the bottom over here is ADW Cleaner. ADW Cleaner, um, why do I choose ADW Cleaner? Because it destroys, as it says, it destroys adware. And adware is something uh, that would be on your PC displaying ads, like pop-ups, something like that. It will also scan for PUPs, and PUPs are potentially unwanted programs. Uh, those are pieces of software that will be installed alongside, you know, free software that you're installing on the PC from whichever website uh, they would be like including Google Toolbar or Yahoo Toolbar or whatever types of toolbars or you know extra free trials on the PC without you knowing. So it scans down for that types of software or malware and specific specifically would target that type of uh, adware and that type of uh, programs and you know re really eliminate that. So really recommend this one. So that covers the top 10 of the tools I used when I used to work in retail IT. Of course, when I used to work in retail IT, I used the paid versions because you need to buy the licenses if you're using it for commercial purposes. But I made this video for people who are home users and trying to fix their own PC or maybe give some extra inspiration to you IT professionals out there who might need a little bit of inspiration for, you know, your daily work. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.